What do you know about plastics? All I know is that they're created to carry many beverages for people to drink from. Also that they seem to always get like tossed out, being littered everywhere. What do you know about plastics in our oceans? All I remember is just like they hurt the environment. With them hurting the environment, what do you know about the massive plastic island in the middle of the Pacific? Not that much. Did you know about how by 2050, the oceans could have potentially more plastic than fish in metric tons? What's your thoughts on that? Honestly, hard to take in because all of that, all of that life in just 30 years would just be almost overtaken by plastic. What would you say is so important about our oceans? The oceans are what keep us alive. That's what's important about them. If those oceans weren't there, we would not be here. Uh, what would you say is the uh, current biggest threat to our oceans? Climate change. You say that climate change, of course, is the biggest threat to our oceans right now. Uh, would that climate change also include the dumping of man-made materials in it, such as plastic? Oh, yes, it would. The plastic pollution in the oceans is the tip of an enormous, enormous problem. Um, and the pollution in the oceans, especially with plastics, is hugely significant. Because the plastics are not going to go away. You know, other pollutants get dumped in the ocean, say, um, oh, cleaning fluid or something like that. The chemicals will break down, ultimately, and they'll disperse and they'll go back into the system. That's where we got them from, ultimately. But not plastics. They're hard. They're solid. And they're not breaking down. The plastics are uh, keeping around in the oceans and aren't breaking down like everything else is. And what sort of problems is that going to be causing for the ecosystems in the ocean? Well, they're already in the ecosystem. Uh, the problem is that the chemicals in them are already disturbing, disturbing uh, reproductive capability for most organisms. Organisms out there like, oh, fish, whales, porpoises, that is like, swimming. They are eating them. The filter feeders in the ocean are bringing them in to their bodies. The birds are eating them because they think they're fish, for example. And by doing that, what is happening is they're guts, their insides are filling off the plastic that kills them. And it's going to kill us too. Some people may not be as concerned about it because there's this attitude that it's in the ocean, it's not going to affect them, mm -hmm. so to speak. How is that translating into plastics being in humans? You know, it's the old, if you can't see it, you can't be bothered with it, and it's not a problem. But uh, that now can't be right now, because every time you go down to the ocean, there they are. They're the plastics. So you see them. You see them in the ocean. Um, I did a study, I did one of the first studies on plastics in the oceans about mm, 25 years ago in the Mediterranean. It was on floating plastics. I was doing oceanographic work in the Mediterranean and noticed that um, every day I would see things floating by in the ocean. This is like 25, 30 years ago. And that stunned me, the volume of material. Then long ago, when I first went into the field, we were um, doing oceanographic work in the Atlantic Ocean, we would sail across the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean is the Sargassum Sea. It's called that because Sargassum is the seaweed that floats all over the place. And when you s when then, when you sail through the Sargassum Sea, through all of the seaweed floating in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, <laughs> it was stunning. You know, I, we were just park the ship and look at this endless meadow of green surrounding us in the ocean, rising with the swells coming through. And on top of that were crabs scurrying everywhere. It was just full of life. To the point where actually, uh, 
I remember thinking, stop the ship, I'm gonna get off and try to walk across this mat of green because it looked like you could do it. And you almost could. 20 years later, that meadow of green algae, seaweed floating in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean was replaced by light bulbs, plastic cups, wood, and plastics. Today, it's gone. And today, the middle of the oceans are not covered with algae, but they're covered with floating junk. Name it, it's there. Did you, um, did you wash your hair last night with shampoo? Yeah. Maybe, did you perhaps use this shampoo? Or did you perhaps scrub your skin with this from CVS? Or this particular stuff here from CVS? Well, if you did, then, see those? Those are the plastics I squeezed out of a full tube of that. These are the plastics right here that I squeezed out of that tube. And these are the plastics right here in this little vial. See all of that? That is what's contained in that tube. And if you washed your hair, scrubbed your skin, then those plastics abraded your skin, went into your hair, went down the drain, and they're not out there in the ocean. They float those particular plastics. So they're out there. You don't see them. What you see instead when you go out in the ocean is, you know, this kind of stuff here. That junk. If it's small enough, or maybe you see a, a whole plastic boat. Birds eat that. Birds key in on floating debris on the surface thinking it's a fish and if they see this color here they might think that's one kind of fish and if they see this they might think oh that could be a squid I'm going to go down and eat it. So plastics are nasty. They come in also I'm only showing you here good sized stuff microplastics in these things here. They're an enormous, huge problem. <laughs> Unreal how much there are. They're, ev they're everywhere. So this is part of what we've done in my generation. Sorry, it's my generation that has done this to contribute to polluting the ocean. In this jar, little round things. I think these are called not noodles or something like that. These are the raw plastic that are used in factories here on Oahu. They melt these down and make little bits like this to add to these creams or they melt this down to make plastic spoons and forks and knives for example. This is a raw plastic that's used reformed to make plastic dishes, plastic bowls. These are the raw material that a ship is bringing here to Hawaii and somehow they escape. They're all over the place on the beaches. So I can't, I just can't emphasize more the magnitude, the incredible magnitude of the problem. It's stunning. It is just, and what kind of just actually makes me feel pretty bad. It's my generation that did this. <laughs> These weren't in the oceans 50 years ago. 